good morning student today we are going to see 11th standard english unit 5 poem everest is not the only peak so do you know the title what is the title meaning of the title of the poem so everest is the highest peak in the world and the poem is everest is not the only peak what is the meaning is not only the highest peak but all the rest of the small hill or called as here everest so you should not think and the small position we have we should not think it it's a small one we should think is is a highest one so this is called everest is not the only peak so this poem is written by professor v c Kulothunga Sami was named as Kulothunga, and so first before going into this poem and about the author, and we will see the glossary of the poem. See, see the poem glossary, and first one the virtues. The meaning is good qualities, good character, a good behavior. All this thing is called virtues, and second meaning is devotion. you know what is devotion loyal commitment towards a particular activity particular work we should have deep effort deep hard work deep devotion that is called devotion the third one repel the meaning is hate or detest so we will avoid it hate avoid this is called repel and now clinging what is it? this is this meaning the word is very important in this poem see you clinging clinging mean behaving in an excessively humble or servile way the what is the meaning we should not bend towards anybody if we want to achieve success what is the meaning if we want to achieve success we should do in our hard work effort this is called we should not bend towards others and this is called clinging and the next one adore adore worship worship respect respect this is called adore and what is nourish to help the growth and development of someone so help the growth we should uh, what is it this is we should appreciate the growth of others those who are develop those who are help those who are progress in our world this is called nourish and now what is summit summit the highest point of a hill that is peak peak highest peak is called summit and next one stoop the same way yield or submit we should not bend we should not uh, please we should not buttering to others if we want to do if we want to achieve something that is called stoop stoop means bending forward our next one competence what is competence the ability to do something efficiently efficiently so this is competent those who are doing uh, using our intelligence we should do the efficient way next one merit you know what is merit the quality of being particularly good or worthy so merit means good or worthy that is valuable valuable way and those who did the work in valuable way that is called merit so the word competent and merit and summit and next one here clinging and ado these and all according to this poem we should know the important meaning important word in this poem. now let us move forward to the author of the poem the everest is not the only peak so professor c v c kulothunga swami 1929 to 2016 known as kulothungan is an eminent technologist a man of letter and an educationist known for his pioneering contribution in hydrology literature and education So this poem was written by Professor V C Kulothunga Swami. His was pen name is called Kulothunga, and he was three popular, eminent, eminent means popular technologist, 
अलॉट वाले इधर ही वाज अ मैन ऑफ लेटर अन एन एजुकेशनिस द थ्री क्वालिटीज ही हैज सचिव एंड नाउ ही वाज अ फेमस कंट्रीब्यूशन इन हाइड्रोलॉजी हाइड्रोलॉजी मीन्स वाटर द स्टडी ऑफ वाटर एंड ही डिड इस स्टडी ऑफ हाइड्रोलॉजी इन यूएसए अलॉट वाले इधर लिटरेचर एंड एजुकेशनिस द थ्री क्वालिटीज इन हिम and he has authored six volumes of poems and seven of prose essays which earned him the thiruvalluvar award from the government of tamil nadu in 1999 so he was authorized he was con his contribution was three was six volumes of poem and seven prose and now he achieved for this contribution he achieved 1999 The government of Tamil Nadu award called Thiruvalluvar award he achieved for that work. And not only that, he won the Sahitya Academy award in 1988 for his book Varum Valluvam. Varum Valluvam he got the Sahitya Academy award in 1988. And all the poem, what are all he wrote? His works deal with the themes that reflect the gamut. of human progress and the all pervasive human effort so his works his works means the prose or poem everything essays all the poems prose the theme that reflect gamut gamut mean the range of all together of human progress he wrote everything in his poem for the human progress and the all pervasive human effort what is the meaning if you do effort how much effort you are doing like that only you can achieve in your future and achieve your success that is the theme of the poem and now let us go to the poem poem lines first four lines see here we are proud and feel so tall our virtues do be few and small our nature it is that whatever we try we do with devotion deep and true so we are proud this poem first line itself so the poet kulothunga swami kulothungan was insist what is we we our in this poem he used our we what is this we are tamilian and not only that indian mainly he insist that the human beings the human being we we are proud and feel so tall what we had to do we had to feel proud and so tall not the highest one so whatever we position we have we have to be think it proud so this poem is a blank verse what is blank verse so no the poet was not mainly insist in his poem rhyming scheme and not only that only alliteration is there so that is called blank verse no rhyming scheme no rhyming rhyming words and all and that is called blank verse the second line you see our virtues so in the glossary we saw virtues mean good quality good character though be few our quality will be few or small in quantity what we have to do we have to feel proud and so tall whatever virtue good qualities our nature third line our nature it is that whatever we try so our nature our nature character that what we try what how the character should be the fourth line is saying the character should be what work we have to do the work should be do in devotion what is that deep devotion not only that devotion is saying deep devotion and true so like this only we have to try the work we should achieve our success so you can know the meaning for the four line we are proud and feel so tall our virtues good qualities be few or small we should think it proud and tall our nature is our means human being nature is whatever we try if we try small thing or big thing big work or small work we do with deep devotion if you are the teacher or the lawyer or ips ias 
what we have to do in that work we should do deep devotion we should fully involve in that fully take interest in this work and true we should be always true then only we will achieve in our life our next one defeat we repel courage our fort repel we should not move back repel means move back we should not move back if we defeat if we fail in our work we should not come back move back what we have to do courage our fort courage you know what is courage brave we should not come back we should be feel brave we should have confident and courage that is our strength fort means strength courage is our fort next line cringing from others we have not done what is that we should not bend our bow our head or body to others towards others that we should not every time all time any time we should not do it and next line to seek again we adore none if we want to achieve success gain we should not adore none we should not bend we should not worship we should not buttering we should not speak buttering words to others not pleasing words to other that is called adore to none if you want to achieve something if you want to gain we should not what you should not do we should not adore to none anybody so always we have to proud we are proud and feel so tall we should always sing proud and tall next para we deem it our duty our mission in life deem consider or think think is our duty what is our duty and mission in life what is aim in our life what duty what aim in our life we should think it what is the aim there are two things we should bless and praise the deserving ones and those who are doing welfare and progress of our world what we have to do we have to think the mission in your life is there are two thing i said now blessing we should give blessing to other those who are doing progressing in our development of life and praising we should appreciate to the others that is the two duty and mission in our game in our life our next thing never shall we fail in what we commit and we should not forget we we should we given promise to other we are doing we are we should do that you should not never forget fail means never forget we should always keep in our mind shall nourish what we have to keep in our mind shall nourish the ones that nourish the world what is it the development of the those who are doing the development of work what we have to do we have to give that person substance or some things to that you should not forget to, not to give so this is the thing our next pair up we are proud of the position we hold we should be proud we should feel proud of the position we hold what position we have and if the position is small or big we should what we have hold what we have we should not we must say we must think it very proud and appreciable and that position if we have high position we should not think it more proud what we have to do we should be humble as we are we should be live your life in simple way humble way and now our pride in this uh, paragraph in this paragraph i remember eh rahman you know what is the musical director and now what he has doing and always in her in his uh, interview what how he was giving his interview to others very humbly only smiling he is doing in the smile we can know everything what he is going to say so this is called humble as we are so how much position the position will be high or low 
we are always very simple and humble way we should live our pride springs from the way we lie what is it the pride how the pride the proud we should come that is springs miss arises coming comes how the way how we living ours is a path of dignity and how we should live dignity what is nobility and honor honor means gaurava and now these two things you should remember in our life that way in our life will be very proud and there are two things you should follow dignity and honor your life that knows in our life no kneeling and bending and we should not leave others to kneel and bend we are proud and feel so tall we always proud and feel tall and the last stanza this is a summarizing of a whole poem see this uh, how many lines are there and here and uh, six and nine ten lines in this ten lines in the last stanza we can know the whole summary in this poem and you listen carefully Everest is not the only peak. You know what is Everest? Is the very highest peak in the world. So the poem, the poem in this poem, the poet was telling Everest is not the only peak. This uh, the Everest is not only the highest peak in the world, but every hill, what is hill? Small hills. has a summit summit i told you in the glossary is the mountain peak peak to boast so every hill every small hill has a highest point peak in this hill the height you reach is not that we care so how much height how much position how long we are achieving we should not care it if you are achieving very highest post that is not problem he who does not do the person one who achieve the highest position that is not care what he has to think he does not in that position how he came he should not bend towards others how he got the position and how much he achieved in that position you should not bend towards others so that person is called as a king we adore we worship the king and who got respect who got achievement who got appreciate one who was not bending towards others to get the position that is the point we bow before stu is a king we adore we bow before competence and merit what we have to do it to achieve the highest position in the world we should worship bow we should kneel down we should give we should achieve we should get the advice from others means the person who got competence so i told you in the meaning competence means the ability to do something efficiency the person who got the achievement through his achievement through his efficiency through his bravery through his intelligently that person blessing we got and and merit the merit means what is it the quality of being particularly good or worthy so this is merit and we have to get the blessing praising from others the man, the ones that are true and stand on their own the third thing the person who are true and not only the stand on their way he achieved his life standing and not the help from others and or really the leader for the rise of man man is mankind this is the there are four things we have to dignity honor true this thing should be the previous the stand on their own then only the man should be achieve the ladder of mankind and now the three lines is the last line 
Honor is your property. I told you, Pirmai, Gauravam. So, common to all. This thing, not for a particular person, those who are achieved the highest position in the world. This thing, the dignity, honor, these two things should be common to all. In dignity and pride, no one need to be proud, poor. So, in that dignity and pride, no one to be poor. We are proud and feel so tall. So, this is a lost line of this uh, stanza. So, in this poem, we come to understand that there are four things he say. We should dignity and honor the path. The things are now the students for 11th standard. If you want to achieve in your life, you read the proper properties of honor, dignity and honor. These things, we should be proud. Then the students, you will become very tall like in this poem. Thank you. Thank you, Vandana.